Hello, good afternoon, and thank you very much for joining today's session on how to reduce IT costs and ensure security for libraries. My name's Tom, I'm with the product team at Pharonix. And in this session, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about we can, how we can help you manage the workstations in your libraries. If you have any questions as we go through, please just pop them in the Zoom chat, the Q&A, and I'll be happy to pause for questions at the end of the session. We'll only be taking about 10 or 15 minutes, excluding a Q&A at the end of the session. So just to start with a little bit about Pharonix. We've been around for 25 years now. In that time, we've sold more than 10 million licenses in more than 150 countries. We have over 30,000 unique customers all around the world of all shapes and sizes. And we especially look after libraries all across the world, including in Southeast Asia, where a lot of you guys are from today. We have our headquarters in Vancouver in Canada. We also have offices in the UK where I'm based, as well as in the USA and also in Singapore. So that's where most of the product development happens. <clears throat> but we do have partners all over the world who work with us to provide fantastic service. So if you don't happen to be near one of these head offices, then there is definitely going to be someone nearby you who can look after you. So if you'd like us to put you in touch with your local representative, please just let us know in the Q&A and we'll be happy to tell you who that is. So moving on to the demo on how we can reduce IT costs and ensure security for libraries. One of the main ways in which we can achieve this for you is through deep freeze. Deep freezes are unique patented, patented reboot to restore solution. So this is really helpful in libraries because what it does is it means that any time you restart a workstation in a library, that workstation will restart in its original pristine state. So if you imagine you have people coming and going all day in your libraries and you can't really control what they do on your workstations, they might make changes you don't want, Anything like that is just immediately eliminated on restart. And you make sure that not only are you maximizing the security of your workstations, but you're also optimizing the performance of your expensive hardware because you're just minimizing hardware degradation. Your workstations are not getting clogged up with all the files that might appear during the day through multiple user sessions. And when one person comes along to a library, they're not seeing anything that the last person did. They're, they're starting a brand new session. So in the product for Onyx Cloud Deep Freeze, you have a deep freeze dashboard. So you can see across your libraries, uh, the status of your workstations, how many are frozen and thawed. And you have all your workstations listed on this dashboard um, <clears throat> which you can filter and search and sort a bit like excel and you can carry out on-demand tasks from wherever you are wherever your libraries are wherever you are it doesn't matter suppose there was a security concern over this computer i would i could just freeze it from here or i could restart it or run a maintenance period I can control everything from wherever, wherever I am. So because deep freeze eliminates most 
FIT tickets with, with a simple restart, you will find that um, your IT staff are just, that they, they save a huge amount of time. Um, you, you're just going to get back a large amount of the time that you were spending on fixing IT problems in your libraries. So another helpful tool for IT admins in libraries is remote control. So you can just remote connect into any of your workstations. So I've got them all listed here. I can carry out on-demand tasks, which include remote connect. So I can establish an RDP or a VNC session with any of my workstations. And that all I have to do is select it, establish the session. So you might find that um, you're paying for remote subscriptions elsewhere, but you might then not need those additional subscriptions because the purpose of Fornix Cloud Deep Freeze is that we package together all kinds of useful tools like that into one unified endpoint management solution. So another of those really useful tools is WinSelect. So in my policy here, if I enable WinSelect, one of the options within WinSelect is kiosk mode, and this is really popular with library admins because it enables them to completely lock down the appearance of their workstation. So we've got lots of um, lots of customizable features here, including um, I can add applications and web links. So I could say I'm going to add a certain application, which I can say it always launches, always maintains full screen. Um, so you're saying to your users that this is what you can do and no further. So a really important layer of security to protect your workstations from unwanted changes. And you've got a lot of other options within WinSelect. So you might want to stop your public users right clicking, manipulating folders, dragging, dragging and dropping. You're almost certainly going to want to stop them printing or if not printing, limiting the amount that they can print in one session. So you might say that each user can print only five pages in a session. Again, um, that's just a straightforward way of making life easier and saving money. You may wish to display an acceptable use policy at your workstation startup. And you've got the option to enable user sessions. So this again is particularly popular in libraries. So if you have a library with not that many workstations, and you frequently have people visiting your library who want to use a computer, but there aren't enough. Then you can limit your user sessions to a certain number of minutes and you can just generate codes. So you can just give these codes out to your receptionist. So when someone walks into a library, then they're just given a code and you're making sure that library usage is fair and that you don't have people hogging the workstations all day. Software updater is really valuable because software updates might be quite a pain, um, but they don't need to be. Um, all you need to do is enable software updater in your policy and you can select which applications you wish to deliver to your libraries. You don't have to have <clears throat> the same list to all your libraries. You can have as many policies as you like. Uh, so you can have different sets of applications for different libraries or different groups of libraries. And you can add your own applications really easily. Um, if, if there are any that don't appear on the list, although it's a long list, and then all you have to do is schedule a maintenance period. So I might say, for example, between 12 and one on Thursdays. During that time, my applications are gonna be updated and I don't need to worry about software updates anymore. 
And software updates will work in conjunction with deep freeze. So I might have frozen workstations. Those workstations will be woken up, the software updates delivered, and then at the end, to, end of the maintenance period, the workstations will be frozen again. So I can maintain absolute security while delivering all these software updates. So that's, that's a couple of the tools um, just to make life easier. Um, and then having sort of set everything up, you're gonna find a whole suite of reports that allow you to just keep on top of what's happening across your libraries. So this is the application usage report. So I can see here which applications are being used, for how long, which computers, how many users, number of logins. And I can export that report to HTML, PDF, CSV. I can filter it and search it. And the same with computer usage. So if I want to know which computers are being used uh, for how long, then that's an easy report that provides me with exactly the information I need to make strong decisions about how I manage my workstations in my libraries. And you've got all kinds of other reports as well. So for example, Login summary. So this would be useful when you've got um, public users. You want to know who's logging in, when they're logging in, and how long they're logging in for. Essentially, I could spend half an hour showing you all the reports and dashboards, but the key message to get across is that whatever information you want about how your workstations are performing in your libraries, you have that information at the tips of your fingers. You don't need to be scratching around trying to find that information from lots of different people, lots of different applications. It's all in one place. <laughs> we use the phrase one platform total control, and that is appropriate because we do allow you total control of what is going on in your libraries. It's all through one easy to use web-based console. The URL is going to be the same wherever you are. When you're managing your workstations, you've just got everything in one place. So it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter how many libraries you're looking after, wherever your devices are, you can just manage everything seamlessly. I've just talked about a few of the ways in which we can help you. But there are quite a lot of other features. I didn't include them in that demo for time reasons. But power save is one. Energy costs are going up around the world and we can save you a lot of money on energy, making sure that your workstations are not consuming energy except when they're being used. And antivirus is an important one as well to keep you secure. Antivirus will keep you virus free in conjunction with deep freeze. <clears throat> so there's lots of other things you can do here with Pharonix. Please let us know if there's anything else here you see that you're interested in, and we'll be very happy to schedule a separate call to show you. We offer a free trial, and you can sign up to that from our website. When you sign up for the trial, you just need to create a policy, <clears throat> excuse me, and activate the functionality you need in your policy. And then it's just a case of installing the cloud agent on the devices you want to manage, and then you're ready to go. So just to summarize today's webinar, you can save a vast amount of time and effort looking after the endpoints in your libraries with one easy to manage cloud console. I'm just gonna leave our contact details on screen now. Thank you for your questions in the Q&A. Um, so we'll move to the Q&A now. So if you have any more questions, please just pop them in the Q&A now. 
I'm um, just looking at a couple of questions there. Uh, does it work with Windows updates? Yes, yes. So I showed you the software updater. That's for all the kind of regular applications you, you'd use. Um, but yes, you can manage your Windows updates and deliver them through Chronix Cloud Deep Freeze, and that will work with Deep Freeze, and it won't cause any disruption to your public users coming in and using your libraries. Can I set up multiple locations? Uh, yes, very easy um, using the sites feature. Uh, so, um, so I'm on Singapore here um, and I can easily just switch between sites. Uh, so I might have library one, library two, library three, and then I can make sure that my administrators who work in different zones can manage the workstations in those zones. So you can be really careful about um, making sure that the right people can do the right things in the right place. And you, you can, um, it doesn't matter how many libraries you manage, you can still manage them through the cloud console. Um, okay, so um, any, any other questions? I'll just hold on. Uh, half a minute, just in case we've got any more questions. Okay, um, thank you very much everyone for your time today. Uh, if you have any more questions from today that you think of after the session, please drop us a line and we'll be happy to help. But otherwise, thank you very much and have a nice day.